You may have watched the video first time start of the VNWA software and thus perform various settings during that video instruction. But this is a quick pass to do these settings and quickly learn how to do the first calibration. When the VNWA software is started for the first time, many of the computer screens are very white and uh, the grid lines and the smith yard is hardly visible. So we will do some settings to uh, get that corrected. With the mouse, right click in the center of the screen and choose grid option. Select next Cartesian grid and place the pointer on XY grid color and choose a color. Select next Smith grid and choose a different color if you like, else it will be the same. Click on OK and close the window. The first time the VNWA software is started, only two traces are enabled, and that is S21 and S11 Smith. We will first focus on the Smith chart, do a full calibration, and see how we can use the Smith chart to check the proper calibration. But first we will check the sweep settings. It is important to have a long time per point during calibration to get a clean calibration file. Then during measurement we can reduce the time per point as we wish. 100 millisecond per point was chosen for the 200 data points. Now close the window. To perform a calibration we must first go to settings, calibration kit and choose a calibration kit. From VNWA version 36.7.0 and onwards, the calibration files for the calibration kits delivered by SDR kits are included in the installation to be found in the VNWA folder. So we must first locate the position for these files. After a click on load settings, it's a matter of scrolling down the folder list to find the VNWA and select the default calibration kit folder. We expand the column for the naming of the calibration kit to see its full description and choose the Amphenol Konisch mail kit. When the kit is marked, we see a small picture in the lower right corner of the components in the kit. When loaded by a click on Open, there is a full description of the calibration kit and larger pictures at its components, load, short, open, and the two male-female through adapters. In the drop-down list you may choose three different calibration standards, ideal, simple model custom calibration standards, and arbitrary custom calibration standard choose the traditional simple model custom calibration standard. In this form, the delays and other characteristics for the calibration standard are entered. Close the window. During the calibration, we first mount to the TX port the short. Then we are mounting nothing as the open standard. And then we mount the load to the TX out port for load calibration. Finally, we connect the TX port and the RX port via the test cable provided by SDR kits for the through and through match calibration. After the calibration, we fit the test cable in open condition to the TX output to control the validity of the calibration. To improve the clarity of the grid and trace lines in the video, the width increased from 1 to 2. Right click on the window and choose trace options. Then change the width from 1 to 2 for both lines. Before calibration we change the frequency span. Start frequency set to 1 MHz and stop frequency to 500 MHz. Close by a click on OK. Choose measure and calibrate. Now the actual calibration takes place. Mount the short calibration standard and click on calibrate when instructed. 
the green progress bar in the calibration field as well as on the bottom lines is showing the progress. Each sweep take 20 seconds. Unmount the short calibration standard. So nothing connected and click on open and start the calibration when instructed. And we see the progress bar again. And now terminate it. And now we mount the load calibration standard and click on calibrate when instructed. And when that is finished, we connect the test cable between the RX and the TX port and perform the through and through match calibration. Click on through and OK. And now the S21 through calibration is performed, followed by a through match calibration by clicking OK. And when finished that concludes the calibration. The isolation calibration shall not be used. Test the calibration. Simply connect the test cable to the TX port and perform a sweep. Click on the sweep button to start a sweep and observe that the trace is running alongside the circumference of the Smith charge. As frequency increases it runs slightly inward due to the cable loss. The trace runs never outside the Smith charge. If it does the calibration is incorrect and stops. If we right away connect the RX port and TX port with the test cable and run a sweep, we see on the top trace at division 9 the uh, S21 trace 0 decibel and in the center we see the impedance measurements of the RX port. Next we will mount on the TX port the short, open and load calibration standard and see how they are measured and plotted in the Smith chart. To have a reference for seeing what is going on in the Smith chart, we first mount the load and run a single sweep. This way we generated a small dot exactly in the center of the Smith chart with its 50 ohm. Where the mouse pointer is circling is the 0 ohm or short position in the Smith chart. Green arrow is pointing on a small red dot representing pure 50 ohm. We now remove the load from the TX port so it's open standard and we see all the measurements is now moved from the center position to the right side where we have the open position. A new sweep was started and all the measurements from the center point 50 ohm is now moved to the extreme right where we have the open uh, position in the Smith chart. As the delay is zero for the open we will get a dot in that position. We will mount the load on the TX port once again and see the open points are moved to the center of the Smith charge where we have P50 
pure 50 ohm. The sweep is in progress and it take a little while and we will get a dot again in the center of the Smith chart. We now mount the short on the GX port and we will see all the measurements from the center pure 50 ohm is moved to the 0 ohm position to the extreme left but the trace is moving a short pass along the circumference because the short has a defined delay thus measured. We just connect the test cable to the GX port and run a sweep again to demonstrate how it travels along the circumference and uh, passing all the way through 360 degree and slightly beyond as we now should see how we can speed up that measurement. That is done by changing the time per point in the sweep setting to a lower value which we will see how it's done. Run the slider force and back until we find a pretty low value like that. We now start a new trace and we see how it is running along the circumference much faster. And we can actually run it even faster. In the lower part of the display we see some noise and that is the uh, S21 value not being measured. So that is the dynamic range and the bass noise who is more than 100 dB down for low frequencies. We are now starting a new sweep and we will see the, uh, the base noise is increasing and the sweep is running along the circumference very fast. So uh, that concludes the basic calibration demonstration. Until now we have had focus on calibration and use of the Smith chart. Next we shall see an example on choosing more tracks and their settings. A number of Traces are initiated, trace 1, S21 decibel, trace 2, S11 Smith, trace 3, S11 Real C, trace 4, S11 Imaginary C, trace 5, S11 Face, and S11 continuous phase. These are just examples of these traces settings. I also added trace line width to uh, 2 and grid line width to 2 as well. It gives a better video presentation. Besides the left vertical Y line of the workspace, we can choose the settings for the individual traces such as Y value per division reference level and reference position. For the uh, S21 we choose 10 dB per division and reference we may set to 9 which is syndicated here and for the real set the red trace we set 10 ohm per division with 0 ohm at the baseline zero division seen here. For the IMAX C we choose 10 ohm per division reference level 0 ohm at division 5 seen here and for the face initially we set it to the standard value 36 degree per division at reference position 4 with 0 degree as the reference level placed here and finally for the continuous phase 36 degree per division 0 degree reference at reference position 6 seen here that concludes the simple training in calibration and testing of calibration. 
Please study the extensive help fight for further training.